Welcome to Mystic Moon, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let us see what's in your energy. What message can I share? What trend is going through your collective? Sagittarius, keep in mind, of course, as I'm sure you know, these are collective readings, so take it as it resonates, if this one resonates. This one doesn't. There are others on my channel that do have fluid timing aspects. There will also be new ones to keep your eye out for. If you would like a personal reading, you can always reach out to me. You can always catch Mystic Moons on a live. This message may be a general reading, Sagittarius. Could be more specifically about love or work. Sagittarius, if you'd like to see more and you're not yet subscribed, you can consider subscribing. And Sagittarius, if you're a subscriber, thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me today. Let's get into your reading. Message for Sagittarius. King of Wands. A Queen of Wands, a Ten of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Well, Ten of Wands is Sagittarius energy. Someone thinking about how to make the best use of their assets on one way. If we were to take this king and queen in their more abstract forms as relating to expansion and growth. What are the elements that you need for expansion and growth, but a foundation of solid work, hard work, good work, and wonderful ideas and drive to go with it. Could also be more literal. We'll find out Sagittarius. And if it is more literal, I will call out, of course, that we do have <laughs> a faded pair. We do have that. Could be two aspects of yourself, too, coming together. Let's go and take a look at the Queen of Wands. I'm looking at a love reading, Sagittarius. Queen of Wands, clarified by a Ten of Cups, Death. Did they say Queen of Cups? I meant Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, clarified by a Ten of Cups, Death, King of Pentacles. respect Sagittarius I would say that you know for some of you the ones this message resonates to I'd also say to the ones who are really wanting that family wanting someone they can count on 
someone dependable, someone stable. I think ready for that next phase of life, because this is a phase, a next phase of life. We'll continue to clarify, but it looks like there's someone who will be approaching you who has been making the preparations for that next stage leveling in their life. Someone to go from, you know, that um, exploratory drive to making a commitment, wholeheartedly making a commitment. Let's clarify the other cards before I cycle back to this. See how the Ten of Wands is aspected. Is it a pretty, which to me is a, Ten of Wands can be a great card or it could be really tiring. See what you have, Sagittarius. Well, Sagittarius, once again, we have an appearance of your energy. This is a nice Ten of Wands. Besides the fact, of course, Ten of Wands, Sagittarius energy as well. Sagittarius. This is steps towards completion. This is good work too, work done in good faith. With a Knight of Pentacles, ten of excuse me, five of wands. Literally being hard at work. Also, too, being satisfied and understanding that what you're building isn't something that is going to result overnight in overnight success. If this isn't you, Sagittarius, and this is that person coming towards you. Someone who do, does understand the necessity of allowing things to come upon their own time. And of course, as I said, we have Sagittarius energy. The time of putting down the burdens, at least of this phase, is just about over. You are in the end stages. Two tens and death. Even two tens death combined with a slow knight of pentacles. Slow knight of pentacles also shows in this energy. Things are just about ready to get started. Let's check out the seven of pentacles. Impatientness, Sagittarius. The world with the devil, with the seven of pentacles, impatient, patient for love, could also be to impatient for true affection, tenderness, I mean these are light energies, right? But one thing that the page, the page of Cups does offer is friendship, right? Companionship. It's interesting. A devil with a page of Cups. It's almost like wanting to find someone who truly appreciates them for who they are. We'll be friends first, true friends. Bringing back something that isn't necessarily cardinal. Anyway, it is impatientness for the next phase of life. I feel also too 
moving on, but also someone who you generally genuinely enjoy being in each other's company. Bottom of the deck energy, of course, worth calling out the sun. Sagittarius, I do have a life partner generating in your energy. This person is not yet quite ready, but almost. Ten of Wands, Seven of, of Pentacles, not quite ready. Almost. Impatient. I am curious about the King of Pentacles and the Death, so we'll throw a card on those before we wrap it up. I can't even curious. Well, no, I don't need to know. I am curious, but I don't need to know. Let's go on to King of Pentacles, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. In this energy, I'm not quite sure how this boils down to each one, right, of you or the ones who this message would resonate. I past person well you know Sagittarius nuances like that can be looked over this person is someone who's impatient I do feel under Queen of Wands though this is like almost a fresh start for you this could go either way into a past person or Sagittarius, it could just simply be that finding someone who's stable. It's not been easy, number one. Finding someone who's emotionally present has not been easy or easily um, accessible. I think as well, this King of Pentacles, calling him himself, has not been emotionally present as well, or, or been wallowing in, in, in their own emotions, almost unwilling to open up and share. Which is changing. That person before was closed off. Now, this person is ready to you know, open up their heart. You know, they want that that emotional connection. Let's take a look at death before we wrap up. Death is rather simple. Sagittarius. Yeah, you definitely have, if you so choose, you're going to have a possible life partner come up to you. Very much so. A possible life partner. From what it looks like, someone who will be good to you, someone who will definitely want to be your friend. Someone who's not quite ready yet. They're getting there. They're right at the last stages, Sagittarius. Right at the last stages. Of course, Sagittarius in this energy, while they may not be quite ready yet for marriage, I do think Sagittarius, this person is buzzing around your energy now. Do you think that? Which is good, right? You don't want to get married in like two weeks. Someone <laughs> you don't know or haven't seen in a while signs you may be dealing with Sagittarius. Well, we do have Scorpio, Pisces, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer. Well, we do have fire, lots of fire, you know that. And Capricorn. 
But anyway, those signs could be anywhere. In a couple areas of their charts, right? Not just the sun. The emotional areas. The areas relating to the home as well. Anyway, Sagittarius, they have any hang-ups areas relating to the hang-ups too. <laughs> um, until the next reading, I am wishing all of you the best day. Bye-bye.